Although this place looks abandoned, that's far from being the case. This is the Tanke Sisley Football Club, which currently plays in the Uruguayan First Division. The Tanke Sisley has 1,200 members and a monthly budget of $70,000, less than what the Argentinian star Lionel Messi makes in a day. This is not a professional team, even though some people say it. It's very different from other teams. Despite the lack of money, the players keep on smiling. They qualified for the South American Cup for the first time since the club's creation in 1955. It's the regional equivalent of Europe's Champions League and the second most important competition in South America after the Libertadores. This is a very special time. To have managed to qualify for an international cup is a very big achievement for us. It's not by chance that the Cinderella-like story happened in Uruguay. The country might only be home to 3.3 million inhabitants, but the Celeste, as the national team is nicknamed, has won two World Cups, including one against Brazil. So what's the secret? You know there are football fields everywhere here, all vacant. There are many children, and football is the most popular sport here. For Christmas, Santa gives a ball to the kids, who are overjoyed to be able to play with it. As in all success stories, Tankers had its ups and downs. The club doesn't always manage to pay its players on time, who make between $1,200 and $2,500 a month. But the club's president prefers to focus on the good times, like in 2010 when they were promoted to the first division. When we got promoted, I was the only president in Uruguay who was given a lap of honor by his players. It's a moment of pride that I will never forget. These walls might look modest, but they bear witness to great achievements. With the South American Cup starting in August, others may soon follow.